if you want to understand where a major trend is headed, sometimes you have to go off the tape, take a closer look at privately held companies that really embody the theme in question. You know I've been talking about healthy eating, especially organic and natural foods, as a major long-term theme, something I write about and get rich carefully. I've also mentioned the fact that more and more Americans are treating their pets like their children. Well, these two themes come together in the form of Fresh Pet, a privately held maker of real fresh food for pets. And when I say that, I mean the Fresh Pet is the only pet food company out there whose product is actually refrigerated. They sell fresh, all-natural, meat-based food that's made with minimal processing. This may sound silly to some of you, especially not you pet owners. But look, we know people, especially younger people, are much more distrustful of the food chain these days, and an increasing number of them prefer a natural and organic as much as possible. So why wouldn't they feel the same way about their pets? Initially, retailers were skeptical of the concept because the company has overcome that, but the company has overcome that skepticism, and now it's become a truly disruptive force in the pet food industry, a business that hasn't really changed much in the last 70 odd years. I think this is a very intriguing story. So let's take a closer look with Richard Thompson. He's the serial entrepreneur who's Fresh Pet CEO. Mr. Thompson, welcome to Mad Money. Hey, Jim. Richard, have thanks. a seat. Thank thanks, you so thanks much. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You know, I talk about stealth technology, stealth technology in a lot of books, and you know, I want to go right to the notion of disruptive. You've compared your company to Under Armour. How does that work? Well, Under Armour came in and nobody really thought that they were really going to be a big thing, right? right? Well, same with Fresh Pet. Fresh refrigerated, all natural food. Uh, and I think you said it very clearly. 70 years, almost no innovation right. in the right. category. Like I call it dry, dusty kibbles over here and some mystery meat in a can. And now you have fresh refrigerated food. Okay, but uh, there are two kinds of people in the world. The people who want really good taste of food and they don't really care if it's good for them. And then there's people who want what's really good for them. What happens if the dogs won't eat what's really good for them? Well, in this case, we're really fortunate because when you have real meat, real meat here now, is that dogs will definitely 20 to one go for this versus dry, dusty kibbles. No. Candidly, we did try it with Ryder, and it, just, it. It, de it. it definitely worked. I, yeah. We didn't do any, you know, we didn't put any secret sugar pills in there or anything. Yeah. But what do we know about actual health? And just like you know, people say, I go to Whole Foods, I'm going to live longer, or whatever. What what documented uh, uh, actual truth do we know about fresh food versus say? Um, the food that we're all used to for the dogs. Yeah. Well, if you think about just fresh food, right? Mm -hmm. uh, food that's fresh, all natural, no preservatives, right. less processed. Um, you, you, you think about that, and it, if, if we eat that for our families, our friends, right. and why wouldn't we do that? If that's good for two-legged animals, why wouldn't it be good for four-legged animals? Well, let's talk about how right a time it is. Uh, we do not feed Bug and Everest any food that's from China. Right. We actually look for an American flag. You've come in at a time when the Chinese clearly demonstrated that the food chain for, for pets was corrupt. Right, right. Well, <clears throat> yeah, that, that I would say it's uh, pretty corrupt. So it's one of those things, right place, right time with right products. And so, um, you know, we've developed Fresh Pet. And, you know, our plant is in Pennsylvania. Yes. And uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the products, uh, a lot of the raw materials we get for our product is, is, is local. It comes from Pennsylvania, Delaware. So it's all local. And you, you're hiring. I know you've got, yeah. you're creating jobs. Yeah, yeah, we're building a new, we just finished building a new $30 million state-of-the-art uh, plant in Bethlehem. Now, I think that people who are thinking that Richard maybe is just, a pet lover and not about making money. I want to talk about about pasta and talk about meow mix. Your previous jobs, your, you create a tremendous amount of value for companies. Well, we uh, we changed the pasta industry back in the 80s right. and, and 90s, uh, bringing in uh, pasta that was uh, a lot better. But we actually brought Italian pasta to America, right. if you will, and changed the whole pasta industry. We built uh, five factories, right. and uh, uh, ConAgra ended up has the business today, a big business. And Meow Mix, uh, when uh, Nestle's bought Purina, they had to divest of some of the assets. And uh, we teamed up with uh, J.W. Childs out of Boston. And, and John and I did a great job on taking uh, Meow oh, Mix. Oh, you did better than great job. Yeah. Talk about the numbers. Yeah, well, like the numbers speak for themselves. Well, we, uh, we sold Meow Mix twice within five years. Right. And I think we sold it for the first time for 400 and change and then 700 million and change. So I think we did okay. Are the stores comfortable with all the work they have to do? You put in these big... Uh, presentations, they can't just stack it like they used to. No, is that uh, we, all, we have almost 12,000 of these around the country now. So right. 12,000 retailers can't be wrong. And putting these in is, uh, we have them in um, uh, Target, Walmart, Kroger, Publix, 
uh, BJ's, uh, so Whole Foods is one of mm -hmm. our big customers, uh, Petco, PetSmart, we're in there, and, and putting them in, we've got it down pretty good now, but when we put this in, someone's got to go home, right. right? So we take four feet of space by kind of seven feet, and uh, one of the things we have is power. We have electricity. So uh, we use this header, and we, uh, you know, this is our showroom. All right. Now, I know it's one of my favorite food chains, but you use the term Publix. Any chance you're going to come public? Ah, that's an interesting question for sure. Our friends Blue, Blue Buffalo, you know, they, right. they, they may become public, and uh, we wish them the best. Uh, but for us is that uh, we, we've got uh, MidOcean and uh, partners here in New York, and we have a firm in L.A. Uh, with Charlie Norris, and we... Uh, we, uh, we're doing quite All well. All right, because I, I want a piece of the boar's head. Yeah, that's for Animals. This is Richard Thompson, the CEO of Fresh Pet. This is where the innovations really occur. I do wish I could own a share in this company. Stay with Kramer.